There are a lot of enchantments in Minecraft, but some of them are really overpowered for your survival world. So today we're gonna cover the best enchantments that you can get in survival for your weapons, your tools, and your armor. So let's start off talking about armor. Now in general, the best thing you want for all your armor is protection. Now there are a few kinds of protection, but I'm talking about normal old protection. Not blast protection, not fire protection, not projectile protection, we're talking just basic old protection. And this is simply because protection can protect you against all of those things. Any kind of damage in Minecraft, protection helps with. So unless you plan on bathing in lava or swimming in TNT, you're probably okay with just protection. Now you also want to look into mending. If you're new to Minecraft, mending allows you to repair your armor just by getting XP. So for example, if I spawn in a creeper here and he blows me up, oh, I actually died there. <laughs> Well, I wanted to show you that even though my chest plate took some damage here, if I go and pick up some of this XP around here, I will actually get my chest plate fully healed. So yeah, that's good reason to have protection and mending together, but whatever you do, mending is pretty helpful. <laughs> but there are also some enchantments that are specifically for one piece of armor, like a helmet or like your boots. So let's talk about the helmet first. On your helmet, you want to get aqua affinity and you want to get respiration. These are both great for underwater. Basically, respiration allows you to go underwater longer. Those little bubble icons there, they won't pop as fast. And aqua affinity allows you to mine underwater faster. As you can see, without it, it is painfully slow. Oh, drowning, need respiration. And for our final piece of armor, we have boots. Boots have the most OP enchantments out of all the armor, by far. You can get Depth Strider, Frost Walker, Soul Speed, and Feather Falling. With Depth Strider, you can walk underwater faster. With Frost Walker, you can actually walk on water as it spawns ice in front of you. With Soul Speed, you can walk on Soul Sand incredibly fast, like stupid fast. Whee! And for Feather Falling, allow my survival world to tell the tale. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna survive. Yep. No big man, there were no cheats there. That was a legit fall, I swear. Next up, let's talk about weapons and tools. Now for all of these, you're gonna wanna get mending, which we already covered, and you'll want unbreaking, which basically allows your tools to take more damage before they break. But not counting those two, here are the best ones for weapons. So let's start with swords. I think for a sword, the best enchantments you want are sharpness, looting, and then fire protection. Sharpness is easy. It simply makes your sword stronger. You get more attack damage. You can one hit mobs or at least some of them like this guy. So it's very helpful if you're fighting mobs, fighting friends, or just murdering pork cows. <laughs> Next up, you need looting. Look how much loot you get when you kill a mob. You literally get double the loot you normally would. Not every time, but just in general, you get higher drop rates. So looting is great if you're gonna go murdering mobs all the time. <laughs> If you don't hunt down mobs and you don't hunt down your own food, I guess you don't need looting, but for me, it's a must. And of course, we cannot forget about fire aspect. This, I would argue, might actually be the best one. Why do you ask? Because you can light mobs on fire and get cooked food by killing animals. This kind of ties in with the looting one. If you don't kill animals often, don't worry about this, but if you do, you can literally just farm so much free food so fast. Peggy, die. Now for axes, it works the same way. You can put all the sword enchantments on axes for the most part. So same exact thing as the sword points. Now, funny enough, axes are also a tool. It's a tool and a weapon. So at least for the weapon part, you know what to do. For the tool part, we'll get back to the axe later. Next up, we got the bow and the crossbow. For a bow, there are really only two enchantments you need. You want power and you want infinity. Power is like sharpness on a bow. The arrows do more damage. But infinity gives you infinite arrows. All you need is one arrow and you can shoot it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So yeah, that was easy. The bow is a very simple product. Product? Item. Product. Now the crossbow is a weird one. It's like a bow, but the enchantments are actually pretty different. For a crossbow, you are gonna want quick charge. Basically, when you wanna shoot the crossbow, you have to hold it down for a long time, then you can finally shoot it now. With quick charge, that little timer there, it's a lot quicker. Hence the term, quick charge. Get it, it's in the name. 
Now next up, we have multi-shot. This enchantment is really cool. It kind of makes the crossbow worth it. When we go to shoot this crossbow, we can shoot multiple arrows out. Three of them in like a three-headed monster dragon line. It's amazing. Take this mushroom. That's three hearts of mushroom gone. Next up, we're talking tridents. If you chuck a trident, you gotta go pick it up yourself, which is very annoying. So that's why the best enchantment, in my opinion, is loyalty, which allows your trident to just come right back to you, like a boomerang. All right, do the thing. Do the thing. Look at it, it comes back. How sick is that? I think it's so cool, I'm not gonna lie. I'm nerding out right now. <laughs> now, there are two more enchantments you might want, but you're gonna need it to be raining outside. If you have the channeling enchantment during a thunderstorm and you throw this thing at a mob, you summon lightning on that mob. It's so evil, but so fun. Piggy, come here, taste lightning. There we go, that was mean. <laughs> Horsey, you wanna taste lightning? Bah! But this enchantment only works when you're hitting a mob. So if I throw it at like the grass here, nothing happens. And finally, we're talking about Riptide. Now, honestly, I've never used Riptide before. I've never had it in survival, but I believe how it works is you throw it up in the air while it's raining and you kind of like launch with it. It's kind of like a, like a free flying thing. Let's try it. Whoosh. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's sick. Wait, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. Look at me go. That's actually the coolest thing ever. Can I do it over and over? Oh my God. Look at me go. Wait. Oh, don't fall. This is the coolest thing ever. I need this in my world so bad. Oh! <laughs> On second thought, maybe I don't need that in my world. <laughs> okay, weapons out of the way. Now let's talk about tools. And to do this, I'm gonna go into my survival world here because I have the best tools literally ever. So let's talk. So for tools, the best enchantments are really all the same. Number one, you're gonna want efficiency. Efficiency allows you to just mine blocks faster. And if you have a beacon, you can literally insta mine. But Farzi, what is insta mining? Maximum speed mining. No one can stop me. Speed, I am speed. Weird jokes aside, you can literally hit blocks incredibly fast. <laughs> Next up, you're either gonna want fortune or silk touch. In my hand, I have two pickaxes here. One is silk touch, one is fortune. If you have silk touch, you can pick up whatever block you're looking at. So if this is coal ore, I break it with silk touch, I get coal ore. But with fortune, if I break something, I get more of the loot. So I don't get the coal ore, but I will get more coal than usual. So it's up to you. Do you want more loot or do you want to get cool blocks that you couldn't normally get? And of course, I already mentioned these earlier, but you're gonna wanna get mending and unbreaking for reasons I've already stated many times. And the final set of enchantments we're gonna talk about today are fishing rod enchantments. I'll make this quick. There are two enchantments you want. One is called luck of the sea, one is called lore. You see, when you cast your fishing rod, it takes a while to actually get a fish. Lore increases the chance, or rather the speed, that you're gonna catch a fish. And on the flip side, having luck of the sea allows you to get better loot besides just fish. So I could maybe get some like books or some leather or just like better loot. But yeah, guys, those are all the best enchantments you can get in Minecraft. I'm sure you already knew most of them, but in case you didn't, you're welcome. <laughs> if you want to see more cool videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. But on that note, like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.